Welcome. So in this lecture, I want to introduce the concept of bootstrapping. So as I introduced in the more general introduction to kind of where all these different algorithms fit together, uh, if we think about linear models, uh, we had an algorithm, then when we fit a regression, it gives us back an, an, an estimate of the slope intercept, as many inter slopes as we might be fitting in a multiple regression or polynomial or interaction terms or whatever. Uh, and then it also gives us this standard error, an estimate of the uncertainty we have in those parameters. And that, that standard error is used to calculate uh, our t-statistic and our, our p-value, which is really what we're using for hypothesis testing. And so this error term is really the crux of any of our hypothesis testing. Now, last week, we spent the whole week really thinking about how to estimate the parameters in models more broadly. We went through the, the techniques analytically and numerically for maximum likelihood. And we learned for a general model how to estimate this uncertainty in the parameters. And now we need to go on and think about how do we estimate uh, uncertainty in parameters if we've been performing maximum likelihood. So we have our best estimate. How do we get that? Now, in reality, a whole lot of different approaches exist to be able to do this. Uh, and if you were to take my graduate level course, I'm actually going to go in the, there in 509 in particular, go in detail into how uh, some of these other techniques work. Uh, but here I want to focus specifically on one uh, algorithm, which I really think is, is in many ways, the, a, a fairly general robust solution that works in, in most every case and is nice because it is one based on uh, numerical methods rather than having to, to resort to analytical approaches. Uh, so it's not a general solution. It's not, it, it's, it's a, a solution that's generalizable to any problem, but it doesn't give you an a, a, a analytical solution that gives you that kind of general understanding that an analytical solution does. Um, and so bootstrapping is kind of interesting. It's, a, it's an algorithm that's, you know, the name is kind of implying this idea of pulling yourself up from your bootstrap. So it's the idea is it's a method for making inferences based on simulation from a process derived from the sample itself. So it's you know, you know, using itself to pull itself up. So to think about, to introduce how bootstrapping works, I want to step back and uh, talk about something we introduced when we talked about probability distributions. And that was this idea that we can take random samples from a probability distribution. And furthermore, that if I take enough samples from a probability distribution, that I can approximate that distribution with samples from that distribution. Now, when we first introduced this, we had a, a distribution where we knew what the distribution was and we we're taking samples from that distribution. One of the things that's somewhat unintuitive, but one of what will turn out to be time and time important uh, in statistics is it turns out there's a, a non-trivial class of problems where it is easier to take a sample from a distribution than it is to write down that distribution analytically. And it's kind of crazy that you can take a sample from a distribution without being able to write down the equations for it. We'll kind of get into why that is. Uh, but it's, it's a general class of problems that have this feature. And so the really key idea here with when it comes to uh, both parameter uncertainty and model uncertainty is that we're going to approximate our probability distributions with samples from those distributions. So if I take enough samples from a distribution, I can approximate the shape of that distribution with a, with a histogram or a smooth density. I can approximate any of the statistics that I'm interested in with that distribution with samples from those distributions or summary statistics from those samples. So you know, here's a case where you know, I have a normal distribution. I took something like a thousand samples from it and you know, I had the true value of these, these statistics, and I can approximate these quite well to the number of significant digits by taking samples. So you know, here's the, the true mean, the sample mean converges to the true mean. The sample 
median converges to the true median. The sample variance converges to the true variance and the confidence intervals converge to their correct values. And the confidence intervals are, are really just calculated as the quantiles of these distributions. So if I took a thousand samples and I wanted to know uh, the 95% confidence interval, I want to know, know the inner 950 samples separated from the 25 most extreme on one end and the 25 most extreme on the other end. And so, you know, you can calculate any quanti any quantity of a probability distribution empirically just by sorting the samples in order and calculating, you know, you know, where they fall out in that frequency distribution. And the other thing that's nice to know about these numerical methods is that, uh, you know, they see there's a little bit of round off in this particular example, but I can always increase the numerical precision uh, by just taking more samples. So in this general case of approximating a distribution with samples, if I need more digits in my answer, I can get more significant digits in my answer just by taking more samples. And if I need, if I can get by with a very coarse answer, I can save myself com computation and only do a, and do a smaller number of samples. So this idea is, is part of a larger class of algorithms uh, known as Monte Carlo methods, the idea of simulating, uh, uh, of approximating algorithms through this uh, simulation of stochastic numbers, so using norm and random number generators to do uh, calculations, to, approximate, to get approximate answers uh, to, to numerical problems. Uh, yeah, and it's, it's literally named after the city uh, of Monte Carlo in, in, in Monaco, which is a, you know, an area that is just, it's in Europe notoriously known for its casinos. And so this algorithm, this approach of approximating things through random draws is named after, um, yeah, named after gambling, named after games of chance. Cool. So let's dive in specifically to the, the algorithm that we're gonna use to estimate the uncertainty in parameters, which is known as bootstrapping. So like I said, this is, is one, uh, one instance of a Monte Carlo algorithm where we're gonna rely on numerical methods. And the key to this idea is, it's kind of simple, but it takes a little while to sink in, um, is it's based on the idea of generating a parameter distribution by taking a, a large number of samples of replicate data sets uh, that are the same size as the original data, uh, and then refitting our model to those replicate data sets. So this idea of bootstrapping, it really relies on this frequency concept of probability. And specifically, this idea that's really common in frequent statistics, if we repeated an experiment an infinite number of times, how often would we see results like the ones we saw in this, exp in this experiment? So in reality, it's really, really expensive and time consuming to actually go calculate, you know, repeat an actual experiment and see if the results were similar to the ones you did the first time. But the power of computers is that they can approximate that idea using the data itself. So that's again, this idea of bootstrapping. It's using in-sample inference. Uh, so the idea would be, uh, we're gonna take, the, you're gonna take a sample of, a randomly generated sample of data, and we'll go through how that works in a little bit. And we're gonna fit the model to that sample and get an estimate of the parameters. So we have our original maximum likelihood estimate, and then we have, you know, we re get a new sample of data fit the model, we get another estimate, estimate of the parameters and we gener get, get a new sample of the data, we fit our model, we get another estimate of the parameters. We do a new sample of the data, we fit our model, we get another estimate of the parameters. And if we keep doing this, we keep getting more and more samples of the parameters. And so we can build up these histograms of our distribution of parameters. We can calculate confidence intervals around uh, our distributions of parameters. We can you know, estimate standard error and things like that. Uh, from these samples of parameters. And uh, most of the rest of the lecture is gonna go through the, the concepts and, and R code for how we do that. And specifically, we're gonna focus on two variants of bootstrapping. Uh, one known as parametric bootstrapping, 
which is based on the idea of taking the model and its best fit parameters and using that model to generate pseudo data around that model, simulating observations around the model itself, uh, which involves an assumption that the model you wrote down was reasonable. Uh, and then this other approach, non-parametric bootstrapping, which is based on this idea of resampling the data. So at a high level, um, I, I kind of think of this Monte Carlo algorithm as kind of a, a box uh, and the inputs to that box is this idea of a sample of data. The action that occurs in that box is we fit the model to the data and the output is gonna be a sample of parameters. And I wanna keep that kind of, I like this kind of box and flow idea because we're gonna, it's a handy thing to, to stick in your head when we introduce additional algorithms later on and to keep the different algorithms straight, it's really important to think about uh, what's going into them, what's the action occurring in them, what's coming out, and then ultimately how we string these different algorithms together back to the this general workflow of fitting models, estimating parameter uncertainty, model uncertainty, and then doing our diagnostics. Thanks.